Previously on Water Rats. Alex. No, Jeff, I really need to see okay. how bad James is, please. Alex. Can someone Alex. take me to the hospital, please? Can you, what are you Alex, guys Alex, Alex, you really should go on the ambulance. Please, no. Okay, all right, okay, well, come with us. Come in the car, come okay. on. Like the concrete, that's what it was. You're lucky to be alive, Detective. You really think it has something to do with the accident? No, it's, it was no accident, James. You were targeted. We were both targeted. OK, as your senior officer, I'm telling you to leave Alex alone. Piss off, Jack. Bianca Humphreys didn't make it home yesterday afternoon. Somewhere between the bus stop and her front gate, a distance of 300 metres, she disappeared. If I said I didn't do it, the murder. Could you get me out? OK, let's get this clean. Did you kill Bianca Humphreys? Okay, let's be real clear about this. Did you kill Bianca Humphreys? No. prisoner at some point is going to say that they're innocent. Yeah, I know. Look, I can see him doing it. God, I've been having nightmares about him doing it. And? But so? Well, what if he didn't act alone, OK? That means there's another killer still out there. All right, did he name anyone else? No, that'd be like admitting he was there. He's not going to do that. He's probably enjoying the attention. Don't give him the satisfaction. Ugh. Morning. Hey, listen, how's your brother? Oh, everything's going well. He should be out of hospital soon. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Oh, listen, uh, the DPP called. Uh, they want us to chase up the swag of witness statements for upcoming court cases. Okay. Uh, and uh, local patrol, they called. They found a witness? Well, a family that lives in the area responded to the canvas. They said that the, well, they'd been away for a few days, but they noticed a kid on a purple bike leaving the area at top speed near the site where your car crashed. kid on a purple bike doesn't guarantee that he threw the rock. What, you'd rather believe there's, what, a conspiracy of child murderers out there? Oi! What are you doing? Oh. You're supposed to be sick. What are you getting up for? Because if I convince them I'm feeling terrific, then they might let me out of this toxic dump. Right. Well, you are. You are looking better. So, you still think the accident was in retaliation for me asking questions? OK, maybe the purple bike kid did chuck the rock. Who knows? I just don't believe that Dwayne Smith was capable of killing Bianca. Not, not, not on his own. Alex, look. You know, the DPP witness, he claimed that the whole neighbourhood knew about Bianca's thing for animals, right? She was forever collecting strays. Now, he also claimed that Dwayne, right, he spun this whole story about these abandoned kittens in this warehouse, and that's how he lured her there, right? Don't you think that story's just a little too sophisticated for a guy like that? So, what are you saying? That somebody put him well, up to yeah, it? Well, that Dwayne was just taken along for a ride. Well, you spoke to the, the, the chief defence witness. What did she say? Grace Stringer? Yeah. Oh, she, look, she's old. She's confused. She's even more confused now than she was five years ago at the trial. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you always do this. Why don't you just let things alone? Buy yourself a pizza. Alex, forget it. She's a waste of time. I'm sorry, dear. I'm Church of England. Oh, no, Mrs Stringer, I'm not from Jehovah's Witness. I'm a, I'm a police officer, Detective St Clair. Could, could we have a little chat? 
Hello, you. Oh, I forget my own blessed name these days. And yet I can remember the, the pattern and the dress that I wore for my confirmation, and that's 60 years ago. Um, Mrs Stringer, five years ago you gave a statement to police and you were sure that Dwayne Smith was here with you the afternoon Bianca Humphreys died? I, I don't really remember. I'm sorry. Well, you said he was uh, mowing your lawn. Dwayne Smith wasn't a bad boy. Mm -hmm. He was just slow. Right. Trustworthy, would you say? If I gave him one job at a time, right. then he, he was quite reliable. Mm -hmm. And he used to come over every Hello. second a Thursday, like clockwork. Right. Uh, Thursday. You sure about that? Yes, yes, I have to be because I had to have the pension paid into my account so that I would be able to pay him, the poor fellow. Right. Yeah. Uh, five years ago, wasn't the pension paid on a Wednesday? Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, I think it was. Oh, well, he must have come over on a Wednesday. Yeah, so if he was here on a Wednesday, he uh, can't have killed Bianca. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, she used to come past every day on the way to school. Never did like that silly name. Bye, Mrs Stringer. Bye. Jack, my phone's playing up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I find that hard. Yeah, well, I don't believe half the things you say either. your bike on the overpass near Craig Drive last no. Friday. Hey, you sure about that? Hey, let go of the boy. What the hell's going on? Sir, I'm a detective. Alex and Claire, I need to speak to your son. Is this your son? It's about an attack on a motor vehicle last week. I wasn't anywhere near there. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, someone threw an object at a car, causing an accident, a near-fatal accident. You might have read about it in the paper. So why are you talking to Mark? Well, a boy on a purple bike was seen in the vicinity. Well, there's lots of purple bikes around here. Was it you? No. Hey, hey. I don't know anything about it. All right, go on, get inside. He, uh, he knows I'd fill it him if he ever got up to that sort of bastardry. Thanks for your time, Mr. Smith. Um, you wouldn't be related to a Paul Smith by any chance. That's me, why? Um, we, uh, you were involved in the Bianca Humphreys case. You saw Dwayne Smith taking her to the to the warehouse. I thought you were investigating a car accident. Oh, yeah. I mean, for God's sake, man, that business was tidied up years ago. What are you to drag that up again for? Well, you, you spoke to my brother. Um, I just would love to clear up some facts. If... No, you're not. You're leaving. Come on. Listen, I, I, understand, I understand this is painful to revisit, but are you sure you saw your nephew, Dwayne, that day? It wasn't me. It was my oldest son, Paul, who saw him. Right. And no, you can't talk to him because Paul doesn't live here anymore and he hasn't got a permanent address. Now, goodbye. OK, um, if you see him, could you ask him to call me? This is my mobile. You don't think it's possible Dwayne had company that day? I mean, we both know he had an intellectual disability. Go on, get out of here before I give you a disability.
Mark Smith, 13 years old. Any relation to Dwayne in prison? Yeah, his cousin. I think he's our rock thrower. OK, well, I'll tell the investigating officers. What are you doing? I'm just running his name through cops. It's not your investigation. Who's Paul Smith? That's the rock thrower's father. You're going to get us both in the poo. So what's your interest in the father? Get up! He scared me, all right? No wonder. One, two, three. Five counts of domestic violence. Yeah, not a nice man. Yes, Mr Conroy. Alex and Claire, Sydney Water Police. Howdy, yeah, stranger. I phoned you earlier about one of your sales reps, Paul Smith. Listen, I hope you sent your fully mobile phone off to be repaired. Yeah, you said you were going to fax me some of his worksheets and uh, vehicle logs dating back to 1995. Yep, I still haven't received them. Would you like my fax number again? I presume you're uh, working on these DPP statements. They don't lecture me. I've watched you bend the rules for 12 months. Got a pen handy, Mr Conroy? OK, fax number. Alex, Alex. Alex! Yes? Listen, can we have the coffee? Michael, I can't do coffee now. Come really, on. not now. Come on. Hey, you've got to talk to me sooner or later. Sydney Water Police, I spoke to you on the phone the other day. And I hung up on you, excuse me. Listen, sir, I don't mean to hassle you. I just need to know if you think it's possible Dwayne Smith had any accomplices. Don't tell me the case has been reopened. Uh, no. Uh, the DPP's appointed you to reinvestigate the matter? Uh, no, sir. Uh, a witness has come forward claiming that Lord Lucan abducted the child. Listen, I know you think this is none of my business, Yeah, that's sir, but... right, Detective. The killer's rotting in jail, and the girl's family are trying to get on with their life. And so should you. Goodbye. Oh, what, what about the baseball cap, sir? Found near the body? Who do you think that belonged to? It wasn't near the body. It was over 100 metres away. Now, if you don't drop this, I'll speak to your commander and I'll drop a line to Internal Affairs. Is that what you want, Detective Sinclair? You little bitch, I should have kicked your tail while I had the chance. Uh, Mr Smith, you First know... First I put my kid through the ring and now this. What's my boss supposed to think with the cops ringing up about me? I'm a marked man, all because of you. OK, look, I just wanted to check your whereabouts. What's the matter with you? My poor bloody nephew's doing a life sentence. Haven't we suffered enough? No. OK, so where were you then, look, Mr Smith? You've had two warnings. You won't get a third. Bad time on. Uh, no, it's my night for unannounced visitors. Oh, come in, come in. Oh, no, I, uh, I thought I'd drop this off. It's a, it's a fax from Conroy's Carpet World. Thanks. It could have waited. So. Yeah. Uh, you want a, you want a wine? Oh, sure. There's a, there's yeah, a bottle right. open over here. Listen, uh, Paul Smith had the Wednesday off from his carpet work. Do you think he might have spent the afternoon with Dwayne? Uh, I don't know. He just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> what are you doing here, Jack? Uh, pouring a glass of wine. <laughs> oh, look. i just never seen a case kick in the guts like this before. It's not even mine. <laughs> what, the wine? Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Yes. So, come on. What is it? Is it this this bloke in prison? Or is it her? Or what? There's a man. We don't here. know that no, it's yeah, a man. I know, I know it is a man. 
and he got away with it this once and now he thinks he can get away with it any time he wants. He can take any young girl off the street and do whatever he likes to her because no one has stopped him. OK, Paul Smith is a travelling salesman, right? He has every opportunity. So have you checked with cops if there's any other unsolved murders in the neighbourhood? Yeah, there aren't any. But Smith has a son, right, Paul Jr. Uh, address unknown, but, but he is the key. He was 13 when he testified that, that Dwayne was with Bianca. OK, so he dobbed in his cousin. He wouldn't be the first kid to lie for his old man. Yeah, and then there's the youngest, Mark. He likes throwing rocks at cars for his old man. OK. You want me to shake him up a bit for you? That's what I'm good at. <sighs> no, 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 no. I'd really like you to run some interference for me, though. Keep Jeff off my back till I find Paul Jr. Oh, give us a look at your little poof the handbag. Hey, Mark, leave him alone. Give him his backpack back. Otherwise, I'll call your principal and report you. Get soft. And after that, I'm going to call your dad. Come here. Where's your brother Paul hanging out these days? Why? Where? I know none of your business. Why did your father throw him out of the house? He didn't throw him out. Huh? Paul just moves along with his job. Oh, yeah, what, what job's that? He's a potholer. So what's a potholer? Are you stupid? He yeah, fixes mate. Asheville for a road crew. OK. See ya. And play nice, you boys. If you don't, I'll be back. Let me tell you, I don't play fair either, capiche? Oh, yeah. Somebody ought to smack you on. I didn't hear that. Watch it. We yeah. think he's on a road crew yeah, inside the metropolitan Smith. area. Yeah, he might be working on one of your road crews. Is that right? Yeah. RTA's got half a dozen subcontractors patching roads around Sydney. Hey, you remember yep. that uh, woman with the moustache? Yeah, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, Smith, normal spell. You know, the witness the uh, DPP was looking for, well, I actually found her. She's in Tasmania, she's visiting your brother. Excellent. Thank you very much. What's going on here? Yeah, just routine stuff. OK, thanks, Chief. Yeah, you're a bottler. OK. Looks like they found him. Oh, Jack, you are a legend. Thank you. Bye. Found who, Jack? I don't look at me. Speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. I'm looking for a Paul Smith. Hey, Paul. Yeah, he's over there. Paul Smith! The one and only. What can I do for you? I'm a police officer, Detective St Clair. Just wanted to ask you about Bianca Humphreys. What's going on? Well, we're reviewing some aspects of the case. I was hoping you could tell me what you saw that day. It's all on record. Yeah, I know, but I'd like to hear it for myself. Well, I saw my cousin Dwayne lead Bianca up the road. It's yeah, step by step, as you remember it. No worries. It was after school. I was like 13, yeah? I was watching my old man's car for him. Uh, sorry, your old man's car, so he was home? No, nah, old Camry. Piece of shit. Right, so where was your father? Dunno. At work, I guess. Anyhow, I'm in the street with the hose and I see Dwayne walking up the street with Bianca. I say hi. He says he's gonna show us some kittens he'd found. Didn't think too much about it at the time. Anyhow, later on, around tea time, I was playing touch footy with my little brother Mark. We saw Dwayne coming back on his own. Okay, but what about when you first saw him? Was he with anyone apart from Bianca? No, no, it's just him and her. She didn't look scared or nothing. I wish I'd stopped him now, you know. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Remember the way he looked, though? You know, like he knew he'd done something wrong. Listen, Paul, you know him as well as anyone. Do you think Dwayne's capable of doing something as terrible as this? I mean, on his own. People are full of surprises, you know? Yeah. OK. Thank you. OK, Paul could be telling the truth. I mean, I mean he's plausible enough, right? So maybe his father's innocent and Dwayne Smith, he's done it all on his own. Right. He was only 13 at the time, right? 13. Maybe all the police and media attention convinced him that that's what he saw? Yeah, it doesn't help me, though, does okay, it? OK, but look, if your gut's telling you you're on the wrong tram, then get off. Yeah. Otherwise, you better work out what you're going to do before Hawker realises what you're up to. I'm not bullshitting you. Well, one of you must be, Dwayne. Either you're telling me Porky's or your cousin Paul is. Do you remember Bianca? I used to talk to her. Yeah? Did, did you ever go walking with her? Yeah. Did you ever show her the kittens? 
Maybe. Oh, don't mess me about, Dwayne. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But not that day. I do not miss Mrs. Stringer's guard. Now, your, your, your Uncle Paul, right? Do you like him? I suppose so. Yeah, do you two do stuff together? I mean, Uncle Paul? No. Did he like Bianca? The Wednesday afternoon, working in Mrs. Stringer's garden. Can you remember what you were wearing? She, uh, me Parramatta Earls jersey, uh -huh. me shorts. Okay, your cap. Chicago Bulls cap. No, I've got no cap. Are you sure about that? Don't wear caps. Why? Don't make my head all scratchy. Sinclair? Yeah, it's me. Look, uh, I just thought I'd let you know. Your mate, Mr. Stringer, has been found dead. Yeah, it looks like a stroke. Yeah, I thought you might want to get over here. All right. What happened? She was fine yesterday. Neighbor found her first thing. Also okay. found your card on the hall stand. Thought he'd give us a call. Yeah, what are you saying? Not just a simple stroke? I think she was scared to death. Yep. Bastard cut a dog's head off, left it here on the front porch. It's my fault. Alex, come on. No, if I didn't go and see her and ask her all those questions, the real killer wouldn't have felt like he had to get rid of her. Hey, if, right? If I was oh. taller, I'd play basketball. Oh, you wouldn't have killed a sweet old dog. Oh. What sweet old dog? Look, we do what we do for the right reasons, right? We can't be responsible for the scum of this world. Yeah, OK, what about when we provoke them? I'm not even going to pretend I know what's going on here, guys, OK? Alex, you have a visitor in Hawker's office. It's Inspector Maxwell. Good luck. Yeah. I thought we cleared a few things up yesterday. But no, you haven't listened to a word I said. Sir, there's been not a... Not only have you been badgering my witnesses, You've been getting into Dwayne Smith's ear. Sir? No, you let me finish. And he's been getting into yours. She was at the prison again this morning, despite my warning. Therefore, Detective Sinclair, I'll be handing this matter over to Internal Affairs. Sir, do you remember Mrs Stringer? She was the principal defence witness. Someone cut her dog's head off and left it on her front doorstep. She went to get the paper this morning. She got such a fright she dropped dead on the spot. There's something else. Do you remember the Chicago Bulls cap? Does not belong to Dwayne Smith. The cap is irrelevant. It could have been there for weeks. And while the Stringer woman's death's very sad, seeing it happened five years after the event, I can't see it's in any way connected to the original crime. OK. You want to hand me over to Internal Affairs? You go right ahead. But I'll be sure to give them chapter and verse of what a cock-up you made of the original investigation. Sinclair. That's enough, Alex. You're bloody uni, kids. You know it all, don't you? Well, let me tell you something, Detective Sinclair. Your brilliant career's just hit a brick wall. Thanks, Jeff. I think I'm done. Alex! Alex! What is it with you? If I find that you have exploited your position to pursue your interests, then you may as well quit right now. Mm. So, what's the problem? Not enough legitimate work on your plate? Is that it? Yes? No? I don't know. Alex, don't throw away your career. <laughs> I know you've been shaken by the accident. No, it's not the accident. Then what? Kids get abducted and murdered every day. It is a tragic fact of life. What is so significant about this case? I don't know. Maybe it is because no one spoke up for Bianca Humphreys. Maybe that's just it. Okay, but look, if one of her murderers is still out there, I intend to catch him. Now, you want to punish me for that? You go right ahead. Take this stupid, rotten job off me. Just hold on a sec. Hey, still got a job? Well, it's worse. That animal is going to pay. To do. Where are you going now, Alex? Don't worry, just to the hospital. Pick up my brother. I might go with her, Jack. Help her out. Hey, three's a crowd, Mick. Thanks, Mick. Oh, that's okay. You're gonna be right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I've got to manage to okay. 
Is there anything else I can do? No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, listen. Yeah. There is no other agenda, okay? Yeah, I know. I, I know. just want to help. Okay. So what's next with the case? Well, I still think it's Paul Senior, but you know, it's a matter of convincing Paul Junior. So. Well, if there's anything I can do. Good night. Good night. See you later, James. You get better. Yeah, thanks, mate. See ya. See you, mate. So, what's it going to take to do that? Convince Paul Junior? Not short of a gun to his head. Do you want to see something that'll give him nightmares? Yeah. I didn't want anyone stumbling across this. It's a crime scene photo. So where'd you get it? Well, when uh, I was talking to Maxwell, he um, he left the office for a second. You, you stole this from an inspector of police? This is what he did to her. Oh, God. He, uh, he tied her up, tortured her, assaulted her for hours. Until she gave up and died. What do you think you're doing? You're stalking me, aren't you? Mrs. Stringer's dog was killed, Mr. Smith. Was it you? You're out of your mind. You're scared we're getting too close to the truth. I'm taking our Navy O against you, you mad bitch. Hey, Mr. Smith! You have nightmares about what you did? You just stay away from me. Protecting someone close to you, I can understand why a person would do something like that, but, Paul, some things are just more important than family loyalty. Like what? Like preventing another Bianca murder. What makes you think there's going to be another one? Dwayne's in the clink. OK, we believe there's another man involved. Right? And it's possible this man, he, he can't help himself. OK, and... Maybe he's he's driven by a red hot anger that it drives him to do the most abominable things you can imagine. So don't you think we should do everything we can to, to help this man stop himself? What kind of abominable things? what he did to Bianca. Wouldn't do that to a dog, would you? You showed him the crime scene photos. Why? To show him what his father, what, what I thought his father had done. I don't know, just, just to jolt something jolt, loose. Listen, something's jolted loose in your brain. You could, you, you could lose your job for this. You should have seen the way he reacted, Jack. He was not phased by this photo. Well, he's probably seen worse on the internet. So what are you saying? You know, Paul Junior was only 13 years of age at the time. So Bianca Humphreys was killed by a kid younger than herself. I know it's him. It's him makes a child like Paul commit this kind of violence? I mean, his father, he must have been seriously abused by him. Some kids are just bad, Alex, are just born that way. Well, the day I believe that, I'll move to a desert island. 
I have reports of malicious damage in the Smiths neighbourhood. It's going back to the 90s, early 90s. Mindless vandalism, low-level arson, attacks on animals. Yeah, it's the pattern. Little boys who light fires and torture animals graduate to him and pray. Some do, Alex, some. Yeah, OK, can we check for unsolved murders or attacks in the area where Paul Junior's uh, uh, road crew's working? He might have left a trail of sexual assaults in there. It... Oh, I was about to say, if we're lucky, oh, my God. Mark, talk to me. It's no use running. I know where you live. I know where you hang out. Thought you might like to know that my brother, James, is out of hospital. He's going to be okay. Tell somebody who gives a shit. Okay, if he died, the kid that threw that rock at our car, he'd be facing a murder charge, Mark. Now it's just attempted murder. Do you remember Bianca? You know who killed her, don't you? Just like you knew what car my brother would be driving, that's why you threw the rock, because you were scared James would find out. My old man's right. You're a nutcase. OK, what if he does it again, Mark? Can you live with that? Because if he does, if you know what's going on, it's going to be your fault. Can you live with that, Mark? You have the power to stop this. James? Take off your clothes. You're sick, Paul. You need help. Who's Paul? I don't know any Paul. <laughs> Come on, I just want to have a little fun with you. I'm a fun-loving guy. You lay one hand on me and I will kill you. No, you won't. You just cry a lot. I'm not a schoolgirl, Paul. I don't scare easy. They all get scared in the end. Yeah. Even big girls like you, detective. How many have there been? Not enough. And none of them was as good as Bianca. Yeah, why is that? Because I'd only been dreaming about it till then. I was just having a little fun. You should have seen the look in her eyes. Do you know what that dirty little dog did? place now, right? We'll, we'll track him yeah, down. Yeah, what are we waiting you. for? No, get, don't what crap you? me off. I'm not a bloody kid, hey, Jack. Here's your tea with one sugar. I don't want tea. I don't take bloody sugar. Listen, I'm your senior officer. Just drink the tea. I am not okay. in shock, all right? James, just, just drink the tea. You should have belted him. No, you did the right thing, James. Helen, just yeah. make sure she stays in. Mix. OK, we'll give you a call. Oh. Ouchie, no one. It's not that bad. No? Oh. Mr Smith, we know you're in there. Mr. Smith! Dad's not home. Is your brother here? No one's home. What have I told you about bloody lying, eh? Do you know where Paul is? He's not here. 
That's not answering my question. No. A woman was savagely beaten tonight. She could have been raped or worse. We'd think it could be your son, Paul. Well, you've got the wrong bloke. Paul's no rapist. You convinced of that? My son's a normal kid. What if you're wrong? Well, why don't you just let us talk to him, then? He's not here. But he stays here sometimes, does he? He's got a bedroom here. Let's have a look. So what do you hope to find? Killers and rapers often take souvenirs from their victims. Well, there's nothing like that here. You've already searched it, have you, Mr Smith? What are you, nervous? Hey, 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 easy on. The kid likes his porn. There's no crime in that. Anti-sport, Chicago Bulls. NBA season, 1996, the year after Bianca was murdered, Jack. Well, what's a Bulls fan, always a Bulls fan. You know what, I was just as popular as Man United. I saw this. Party time. Put down the beer, you're under arrest. Put it down. Adam, why don't you get going? I'm just going to get in the shower for the bed. Well, <clears throat> Helen Blakemore. Oh, yes, Jack, what news? Hello? Yeah, good, OK, good. I'll pass it on. Yes. Right, they got him. He was on his way home. Now, all we have to do is prove that it was him. There's some kid claiming he's Mark Smith. Uh, Mark, Alex speaking. Yeah, what do you want? So he's ready to talk. Doesn't want Bianca to ever happen again. Yep, yeah, Mark, I'll be right there. Okay, Mark, when you're ready, I'd like to hear this in your own words. You've got to understand, I was only a little kid, like eight or something. I used to do everything Paul told me. We we'll almost breakfast time soon, huh? Make mine a sausage and egg McMuffin. Oh, I don't think so, mate. You'll be eating porridge for the next 30 years. That's what you'll be eating. And a side order of hashed browns. Mr Smith, <clears throat> what I have here is a list of sexual assaults which occurred in places your road crew was working over the past year. Yeah, odds are, you see, one or two of those girls are going to recognise your ugly face, mate. You know, one of the ones you didn't beat into a pulp. Writing's on the wall, mate. Nobody's going to recognise me. I promise. Excuse me. This is evidence that puts you at the scene of the Bianca Humphreys murder. He told me to go at Bianca when she got off the bus and tell her about these kittens down the warehouse. There weren't any kittens. He was making it up. Anyhow, that's what I did. Oh, uh, I gotta go home, Mark. Don't you want to see the kittens? Good day, Bianca. He tried to run, but he hit her in the face and she fell over. He told me to wait up the top and to whistle if anyone came. No one did. A couple of hours later, Paul called me to come and have a look. She was dead by then. I knew that. I'd seen dead dogs he'd kill. He said I better not tell anybody. Because I brought her there and I'd go to jail for it too. used to chuck dog shit at me. I never liked it. He used to do a lot worse things than that, Dwayne. Is he coming in here? Um, he'll be held on remand for, for quite a while. A couple of years, maybe. But by that time, he'll be long gone out of here. You're a good person, Alice.
much stuff as usual. Is that a small warm flat beer and a dirty glass? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Jack, where's Alex? Oh, I don't know. She's getting the nails done or something. Right. You've got a bit of a problem with your staff. Sort it out. Have you checked out the finger? Huh? Eva's left finger rock. Yeah, she's a fast mover. Engaged. Oh, yeah, that was quick. Yeah, they haven't admitted to it. Yeah, I'm going to get it out of them. <coughs> What's going on there? It's like she's gone crazy. She's getting engaged. Yeah. You want a beer? Um. No, I don't ask for no. What? Are you sick? No. I, um... I'll get you a family size vodka. No, I'll get it, Jane. No, no, I'll get it. No. Alone at last. Mm -hmm. Listen, Alex, you do realise that if we didn't work together, that I wouldn't be able to leave you alone. Yeah, I know that we do. All right, but my brain understands why I'm supposed to steer clear of you, but the rest of me is just not listening. I understand exactly what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> There's the vodka. Thank you. Okay, listen. <clears throat> We're having a departmental meeting here because you know why? Because there's a lot of crap going on between you pair. Huh? And to be honest, right, between the three of us. And it's starting to affect our performance. It's going to stop and it's going to stop right now, right? Because we're mates, right? We're workmates. And that's all it's ever going to be while we're in this office. Right? Agreed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Agreed.